Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty and today I was originally thinking of going and doing a bit of cultivating up in the field. If we go and take a look here, that field right there that we own. I was thinking about going and cultivating that one. We've already cultivated uh, that one, which we have cultivated and we have planted it with wheat. Why is it saying 98.92%? It's supposed to say 100%. I'm not quite sure why it's saying that, but anyway, uh, it's good. It's close enough. We, we've got wheat planted in that field there. This one down here, I would like to also do stuff too. But I uh, like that field there is 0.8 of a hectare. That one is 0.9 of a hectare. It took long enough to plow those two. This one was one point. This one here is nearly two hectares. It is going to take ages to plow that field. So we're not going to bother doing that. We're just going to cultivate and then plat, which may end up being something that we regret later on oh excuse me i got the hiccups all of a sudden how do i always get the hiccups when i start an episode uh anyway um oh deer and boar up there we could have those we we could eat them they'd be so tasty uh but yeah what what we're going to be doing is i do i do want to plant some grass here in this field i want to spread manure on this field and i want to get the field up there cultivated but what i've actually been thinking is this place looks a bit scruffy. Now we got our seed drill in there. It's just going to be ready to go soon. Uh, it's not quite ready to go at the moment, but this, this is looking a bit scruffy. I mean, I'd like to improve the house, but we really need a better truck to do that. We can't use the truck that we've got for it. We and we can't sell it. I would like to get rid of some of these dead-looking bushes around the place, and I'd like to, you know, just just trim and tidy the place up. So I thought that's what we would do to start with today. So we'll see if we can do any of the above tasks. We want to go into here. And we have right here a strimmer that we have. Now you can cut grass clean. I have not actually tried this one yet. I would like to try this one, but I've not yet tried it. So let's go on to here. Now, how do we use it? Uh, we go into here and we go to typically use to mow grass. Use the string trimmer. Right. I'm looking around. It works. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, great. Uh, nope, you've got, you've got to just do it like that. We go there and we go use. You don't, oh, that's, that's a slightly better angle. Now I've got my hands out. That's, uh, I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so we sort of go through like this and it does actually cut down the grass. You, you, I'm sort of moving around and it does get it. It's just, it's a little bit slow at times actually removing all of the grass. You've got to go, like, quite a ways beyond the grass in order to get it, by the look of it. If I bring it down, maybe? Nope, it doesn't really make much difference which way we bring it. But we can do that over there. We can go right over the fence. You, Yeah, you, you've got to sort of go in front of it in order to get it to cut. But it does work. Let's try running up through here fast, and we'll see how quickly it cuts it down. Okay, that actually works really well, and highly efficiently as well. Which means that we can clean or we can tidy up all of the grass along here. I've got um, some flowers being taken down. That's fine. We don't mind taking down some of the flowers. We we uh, we will want to have a proper tidy up around here. This place is looking very scruffy, and I'm not one of those people that feels the need to go and cut the grass around. Uh, you know, all the way along the front of the road. And I, I tend to just sort of leave that. But what I will do, and I think that, uh, you know, what I, I would normally do is I would just cut the grass like this, close to the gate. Anything that's close to the gate, just to make it easier to open the gate and swing it wide open again. So bring that up there. I'm going to get that little bit there. Now that in there, I'm not going to worry about, but I will tidy this up through here. we we'll go up through the middle. There we go. And I'll also take that bit down through there as well. That is looking a lot better. I've got a little bit more that I need to do just to properly tidy up around this chicken run. There we go. Uh, a bit more there. You do have to be careful when you're using a strimmer going up against a fence because you do tend to chop the grass. You tend to chop all of it as you... as you yeah, Not the grass. You, you do tend to chop the string. It catches on the wires and then cuts the string right in half and it's, it's not a good thing to do. I think I need to get the rest of that from the inside. So we've got a little bit that's sort of along the edge of the chicken pen there that's not quite cutting properly, but that's okay. We don't mind that. We'll just tidy this up as well, and I will tidy it all the way out to this gate. We don't use this gate as much. I'm going to just go over near the gate, and I will also take down the blue flowers here. I think they're cornflowers. 
the blue ones like that. Some sort of cornflowers. I don't know though. I, I, I don't know that for certain. But we want to tidy this area here. So, because this is a place that we, we go in and out of all the time. We're always going in and out of the chicken house. So, if we can tidy it up a bit, it's going to be, it's, it's going to make it life a little bit easier. So, if there's a lot of dew on the grass in the mornings. You're not going to get your feet soaking wet if you're going out sort of just in a quick pair of shoes in order to grab some eggs for breakfast, anything like that. Um, you don't have to worry about it. I mean, technically, if you're farming, you, you probably wouldn't go out in your, in your, um, your slippers or your, your shoes. You'd, you'd put on a pair of wellies and you do that. But still, we're, we're, we're doing this anyway. We're, we're tidying it up anyway. It's, it's something has got to be done. Now, that over there, I'm going to leave that. I am going to just tidy this here so that it's away from the door a little bit. And then we can... Uh, it, it's just to make it easier to open the barn door. It's so much easier to open a barn door when you haven't got a whole load of grass underfoot that you're trying you're sort of trying to push the gate uh, the door over the top of it trust me that is nothing but hard work we don't really want that so that's all nice and tidy there now the rest of this area in the middle i'd prefer to have a lawnmower and i am hoping that a lawnmower is something that they will add into the game later on if we could have a lawnmower that would be brilliant i could then just take said lawnmower and go trotting over the grass nice and easily this is where everybody says well hang on a minute for if there's already a lawnmower in the game um you, you've already looked at it and you commented on it and yeah um i don't actually remember if there is one uh, then i apologize I've, I've obviously looked at it and seen it but um i don't think there is i don't recall any lawnmowers and uh, i'd love there to be a lawnmower right bye bye flowers these flowers are actually really nice i'm not going to get rid of all of them we'll get rid of that many there we go that looks a lot better. Just tidy that bit in there and get in underneath that shrub. Perfect. Okay, so we've got a few flowers off behind the well. And I'm going to leave those flowers around the edge of the lawn as well. I'm not going to go all the way around the lawn. It's going to take forever to try and cut everything around the lawn. So we will leave that. Generally speaking, things are already looking a lot better. I'm going to just do a strip down through here. It's, it's difficult that you can't actually see where you're going very well while you're streaming. I can sort of see where I'm going a bit, but it's not ideal. This is not perfect. We could do with a bit more view on this. So if I just uh, tidy up that there. There we go. Look at that. That's looking a lot better. And get that little bit down through there and then in behind as well. Okay, ideal. Right, so I've opened that up a bit, and I've carved a strip down the side of the path here as well. So it's just easier to get to. It's easier to move around here. And also, I'd like to clear up the, the, a bit of space around the dog's kennel as well. Um, not, not that we've got a dog, but you'll just figure it would look a bit tidier. Uh, I can get rid of those flowers. They can go. Uh, anything else? I just want to tidy this up a little bit in here. I'm not going to do all of it over here. I do actually like to have some patches of like slightly longer grass and stuff, but um, I also like to have patches of neat and tidy grass. So it's sort of a mixture of the two. So we will bring this here. We'll cut all of that. That looked like ragwort there. The um, the yellow flowers definitely look like ragwort. That you, you're supposed to be pulling out by the roots. You're not supposed to leave any of that growing on your farm. We'll bring this right over to that pole over there. I think that would be a good point to sort of bring it back to. Like that. And... A bit along the front here as well. Go around here and we take the grass out. Just, just the shorter grass. Then the rest of it is going to look pretty good. Like that. Come through there. And... Right, that's actually looking really good. I'm quite pleased with that. We've got a little bit over here I'm going to do as well. I'm not going to do lots over this side. Uh, not anywhere near as much as I've done over the other side. I'm going to bring this over to here and then up to the edge of the building. And we will do the, all of this patch in here, just like this. There we go. Uh, that's all done, right. And then I want a bit of this. Quite sure where we're going to do this. I'm, I'm not going to do up the side of the house. Not going to do up through there, because we've still got a lot of work to do up there. So we don't need to worry about having everything neat and tidy and clean all the way up through the side of the house. Those flowers are being very, very peculiar. we got possessed demonic flowers in front of our house. Which, you know, everybody obviously wants possessed demonic flowers in front of their house. It's all great until they start trying to, you know, consume your blood in, in the dark of the night. Um, and, and then it's not, it's not quite so good. So we will trim them back a bit just to make sure that we don't have too much demonic possession going on. That's this never a good thing. Um, bring that back round there. There we go. Last of it. Okay. 
Looking round. Looking round a bit more. I'm pleased with what I see. There's one more thing that we want to do. We want to go up through here. And I'm going to open that gate. And I'm just going to tidy a little strip there. And there's a very specific reason for this. I just want to take that bit out there as well. And that over there. There we go. And then I want to come down through here. I'm leaving most of this. Most of this is staying. Except for this bit here where we're just going behind all the doors. Remember what I said about the doors being difficult to open? Well, I actually meant that. I, I really did. They, they are very, very difficult to open if you have a whole load of overgrown stuff in behind them. So we'll just clear that out there. Uh, one little bit there. Is that done? Okay, that's looking a lot better. I'm not going to worry about that patch right in the middle. The other bit that I wanted to do was this bit right here. I want to go right over to the front of the greenhouse and I want to clear away some of this that is in front of the greenhouse. So we go up through there like that. And I'm looking back through. There we go. Okay, so you can sort of bring up, you can lift it up a bit and it still works. I'm sort of used to looking down at the ground. It's because I've done a lot of strimming in my time and um, you sort of get used to how it should look and then, um, you know, sort of walking along with it stuck up in the air like this, it just doesn't feel right. It feels very, very wrong. It feels very dangerous as well. I'm not sure I should be doing it like this. This feels like I'm going to cause somebody some serious harm. And we may as well cut right over to here so that we sort of cut right back into um, this door. And behind that door as well, we want to be able to open it all. There we go. Right. Get that bit. Uh, no, the cow shed is fine over there. That's all looking good. I will take this bit. I, this bit here is going to bug me now. If I don't get this area over here just slightly tidied up it's gonna bug me we want to just clean that back a bit there so that we can easily get in and out and round the edges of the barn okay now I'm happy with it that's looking absolutely brilliant we've got a nice open space here we've still got plenty of room up through there and we've got our trees up through I don't know if there's any apples on those trees can we find apples on those trees it's all looking good, and we can easily get to our greenhouse as well. Have we got any... What's going on in here? Those leaves are a funny colour. I don't want anything funny colours. They look like they're dying. Do you need to water plants? I really hope that you don't need to water them, because I haven't watered anything. I'm really hoping that that doesn't actually have anything to do with it. Uh... Ah. We have... A watering system in here but I'm looking at them and it doesn't actually say anything at all so I don't know if I'm supposed to have any of this running or not it says water open activate there I don't know I don't know what I'm supposed to do do I just leave it running is that gonna kill them and drown them comfort I see look right so then if I activate again that stops and that keeps it on that level I see right now let's go and have a look over here is there anything else that uh, tells us what, what we're supposed to do with like the fans are we supposed to open these are we supposed to keep them closed I don't know I don't know anything about the greenhouse there was there was no tutorial and you, you all know that I, I use every single tutorial that's available to me every time I always do ish sort of okay never um it's getting late Let's go and have some sleep, and then we can think about what to do in the morning. There's another job that I would like to do soon, and I'm not going to do it yet, but I will be doing it soon. So let's go in here, and we'll get a little bit of sleep. We need to rest. We're not going to rest for a week, purely because um, I've still got, like, planting and stuff that I need to do. There are new eggs. We have wonderful, relaxing music. Sunny today. Sunny the day uh, tomorrow. Sunny, yeah... It's sunny tomorrow, sunny the day after tomorrow, and it's sunny right now as well. There we go. Look at it all. It's looking much nicer now. We got it all cleaned. We got it all pruned back. So our, actually, our first task is to go and check his greenhouse again. Let's see what's happened. So we those plants weren't looking very healthy. Um, I'm guessing that's because we didn't water, and I'm guessing that water is actually something that you. There we go. Look. Oh no, they're, they're still a sort of an unhealthy shade. Uh, but looking at that. Comfort is now top end of the green, so that's that's all good. I'm quite happy with that. Tomatoes haven't done anything at all. Let's look around. 
There seems to be no other indications of anything that we should or shouldn't be doing. Um, I don't know if I should be opening those or not. I don't think I should. I don't think that you need to open them. All right, let's uh, close that one. There we go. And we need to milk. We need to gather eggs. And then once we've done that, there is another task that I would like to do that I have not yet tried. 2880 there. We're going to leave that for another couple days before we do our manure spreading. Let me do the milking a minute. Last one here. And then we have milked all the cows. They're all done. They're all looking very healthy and happy and quite cheerful. So we've got all, all our cows. And if we look up here, we've still got 1,200 kilos of cattle feed. So that's fine. We don't need more. Door opens nice and easily because we've cleared away all the grass behind it. Can I sit? I can't. I cannot sit on the bench. I don't like that I can't sit. And you can't crouch in this game either. Um, you can run, but you can't crouch. Right, let's open that one. That door opens nice and easy as well. All of that work yesterday has paid off already. It was definitely worth it. So let's just pick up these two and you and you as well. Uh, so everything on that side. So then we come whizzing around here and we've got a whole host of eggs in here. I don't know if you can upgrade everything in the hen house and make it look even schnazzier than it is now. Not sure. We've got 192 kilos. We've got 19% of um, chicken feed. So that's also in tip-top condition. We've got more than we need. Don't need to worry about that at all. And we do want to have just a little bit of breakfast before we go any further. So let's just chomp down on a few of those. And then we're going to go and look on the map. And we're going to see what quests we have available today. We have a fix the building quest over there. Which is kind of in the middle of the nowhere. I think we might actually want to take our truck over to that one. Because, um, yeah, it's pretty much dead center from any bus stop. There's a plow the field quest. Oh, and a tra Is that... There's plow the field and transport available over there. I've got no intention of plowing any fields. We, we all know this. So I wish they'd stop asking. And over here we've got another transport quest. Okay. We will do the quests. We will do the transport quest. That one, I think I'm going to have to drive over to that one as well. Now, which is the best place to drive? I'm all the way up here. We will drive from there over to that one. And then we will go from... And we'll do that quest. And then we'll go over to here. And we will do that quest. And then we'll drive back down here. And we'll get that quest as well. So we'll be able to do all of the quests. Before I do any questing, though, there's something very important that we need to do. There is something very, very important. Ooh! I found a strawberry. I'm always so pleased when I find strawberries. They're probably going to be absolutely worthless. And um, we do need to find a wife soon. We, we need to think about courting somebody and, um, and yeah, and just generally um, making a girl our wife. I don't know who it's going to be, though. We, we, need to, we need to find somebody and then persuade her that we're not the worst choice that she could make in life. Um, that's just generally what romance is all about. It's just finding someone you like the look of and then trying to persuade them that you are not their worst option. <laughs> well, at least that's one way of looking, looking at it. Um, right. Good to see you. Can I help you? Yep, you can, John. I would like to buy something from you. Care to trade? Care to trade? Sure. What do you need? Well, what I'm after is something in particular. How much can I... 416 euros I can sell that to him for, and he'll sell it straight back to me for 624. I feel he's cheating me. I really do. I, I Sometimes I feel that he's getting the better end of the bargain on this. But no, what I'm after is that one right there. We've got a chainsaw for 660 euros, which is actually a little bit more than that one. Bye. There we go. Chainsaw. Uh, there's nothing else that I want here. I don't want any of those. Yeah, it's just a chainsaw that I want. We're going to go back over here. Now, I've never used the chainsaw before, so I'd, I'm interested to see how this one pans out. But what we should, in theory, be able to do is remove some of these bushes. And in particular, these dry, dead ones that are stuck out in the middle of the yard. That one there I want rid of, and that one over there in front of the house I want rid of as well. So we're going to go into our bags like this, and we go there. Use chainsaw. Oh, okay. That is a very aggressive chainsaw. I barely even had time to start it up. Let's go to this one. <laughs> okay, this thing's a beast. Savage. And I've also removed the rhododendron. Do I want to remove... I'm going to... I'm going to leave those. I'm not going to approach them. It seems like they will very easily be destroyed. Let's see if we can get rid of these logs over here. I want rid of these. Seriously? Those I want to get rid of and I can't. 
They're there to stay. We got some more dead ones over here. I want to get rid of. I want to get you and you. You as well. You got to go. And we're coming over here. That one's staying. And it's these around the doghouse as well that I want to get rid of. So chop those down. And then we've got another one over by the barn. And there's some more. Oh, there's two over here. We'll get rid of them. Clouds of dust they release. See, this is how you know this is old dead wood because it, the amount of dust that it's throwing up as you do the job. You know what I didn't actually try to do? I didn't try to cut down the sunflowers with the, um, with the strimmer. We'll, we'll have to try that. Bring this one over here. I want to get rid of that tree there. Obviously, that needs to go too close to the buildings. i got another one over here. This one needs to be taken out. You can't take down the big trees, though. Those, those are there to stay. Uh, yeah, there's another one over here by the greenhouse. Get rid of that one. And... No, I think that's actually about it. Let's go through this way. Is there any more over in front of the house? We've got those two. I'm going to leave those two, like I said. And I'm also going to leave that one there in the yard. I don't want to I don't want to go through and get rid of everything. I do want some greenery left. Because that helps to keep us cool in the summer. And keeping cool in the summer is something that's very, very important to me. I do need to keep cool in the summer. If I don't keep cool in the summer, I turn grouchy and, you know, quite possibly downright nasty. Um, I, I'm not a fan of heat. I really suffer in the heat and I really don't like it. So um, that is something that we need to make sure we don't have lots of. And having greenery around is an excellent way to reduce the heat. I didn't even know we could squeeze through there. Right. We can squeeze through there, apparently. There's nothing else to take down. Okay, that is all we're going to do with that. Get rid of that one. And job done. Okay. Things are looking a lot better around here. We've we've done the strimming. We've done the chainsawing. We've done a lot of work. So next up, next up is to go through to here. And we've got our truck up here. So we can go. We've got a transport quest. And we've got a plow the field quest over there. And then over there is a fix the building quest. Um, I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to this one. And we're going to go... All the way over to this one first, which means that I want to go up to the north road and then all the way over. So I kind of want to go there to start with. Uh, let's see. I want to go, yeah, basically I, w I want to turn round and I want to head out that way, I think. Let's spin round this way. And I want to, yes, that's the, that is the direction that I want to go. I want to go out here and then I want to turn left up here. And we head up towards the town, and that should take us a little bit closer to our destination, which is all the way over there. I'm going to have a little look around as we drive and see if I can find any more chests, because those are usually worth money as well. And we did earn a little bit of money yesterday, but now I've gone and spent most of it by um, buying a new chainsaw. Found a chest. I've been looking for chests for ages. There's a train going whizzing along over there. Can we get in front of it? Ah! Not quite. Okay, I was, I was hoping to leap in front of it. I don't know why. It just seemed like it might be fun. Uh, oh, we, we've already found that chest. Well, that's just great. I, I've, I, I, don't, I, I feel cheated now. We've already found that is a chest that we have already done. Okay, I, I'm bitterly disappointed at that. Now, if I remember correctly, and to be fair, I probably don't remember correctly, but if, on the off hand, I do actually remember correctly... I'm pretty sure that the quest is over there at those buildings. So we want to come up here, and then we want to turn right. And we want to go trundling off up the road that direction. And we should be able to get to a quest in here somewhere. And what have we got going on here? Well, we nearly run over a deer, but unfortunately those deer are worthless. Now, somebody here, I'm hoping, has a quest. Uh, oh, there we go, Natalie. Natalie has a quest, so let's go over here and see her. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a fix the building quest, this one is. So let's go and sit right. Hi, Natalie. How are you doing? Hi there. I can't see anything. Oh, it's you again. You again? Have we already met? I don't remember meeting. Uh, let's try you look so pretty today. You look so pretty today. That's sweet. You are really nice. That... It looks so pretty today. It didn't seem quite so creepy as, um, you know, some of the quests. The, the, Hello. The, um, s some of the options that we get. I, I think we can cope with that one. Some some of them are, I, I would have, if I meet a beauty like you. That's, yeah, see, that's bordering on creepiness now. Right, is there something I can help is you with? Is there something I can help you with? 
Do we have... A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? Oh, we'll give it a go. Let's see what we can do. A building. 400 euros for Sounds A building. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. Right. Is this going to work? Uh, let me come out through here. And what building have we got? I think it's this one here. It is indeed this one right here. And... Well, the roof is all good. Okay, so it's, it's just the stuff from down the bottom. Uh, there's actually a piece up there that needs to be done as well, but we can repair. We can. It's just a quick repair job, actually. So this shouldn't be too long to earn our 400 euros. And we have found from yesterday's episode that if you repair stuff, you do the repair quests. They'll give you the same repair quest again, and you you basically you just you you're earning money for doing the same job all over again. But because the job's already done, you don't have a deteriorated barn to do up. So the second time round, they just basically give you money for turning up and saying hello. Which, yeah, it's, I suppose it might be a little bit cheaty. But, I mean, technically what they're doing is you did quite, you did an excellent job on, on the work. And it's an installment pay. That's what you're doing. You're being paid in installments. So you go, you do the job, and then when you go and see them again, that's when they're giving you the second installment. And then it's just basically how many installments you've decided... Uh, is how many times you get paid. So if you go back there four times and you get paid four separate installments, that's what the agreement was. It was uh, to be paid in four separate installments. I'm quite happy with this theory. I think that this is a good sort of explanation for how we can do the same quests over and get paid for them without actually doing the work the second time round. What does everybody else think? Let me know on that one. Are you quite happy with me doing the quests again? As we are being paid in installments. Because quite frankly, look, we're getting paid 200 euros to do all of this. 200 euros to do just this, it, well, to do all of this, that's not enough, right? That's, that is not enough. You, you, what we've actually got here is about four or five days' work. Um, maybe more than that. I mean, the amount of um, block work that we've got to do here, I would say this could actually be a couple of weeks' work. Um, you're not going to do a couple of weeks' work for 400 euros. Trust me on this. You'd be looking at, um, well, I suppose really you'd be saying that you want at least, say... I'm trying to think how much, what would your daily rate be? 150 euros a day? I'd, I'd say about 150 euros a day you'd be, you'd be expecting. That, that would be minimum. A minimum of 150 a day. So if you do two weeks, so five days a week, because you're not going to be working weekends and silly nonsense like that. You, you do need to spend a bit of time with the family. Um, so you're looking at about 2,000 euros, roughly. Uh, yeah, 100, well, 100, no, that's 100 euros a day. So uh, 150 euros a day. You're actually going up again to about three thousand euros. So yeah, fifteen, uh, fifteen hundred a week. No, one hundred and fifty is seven hundred and fifty. So you're looking at fifteen hundred euros. I'm, I'm a bit out on that. One thousand five hundred euros for doing two weeks' work, and that's not including any of the materials. But if they're supplying the materials, then that's fine. Um, they they can supply materials. So we've still got one thousand five hundred euros that we need to get, and and this lady is giving us what four hundred. That's not enough. You can't live off of that. We're not a charity. I don't, she, she probably doesn't understand this. She probably thinks that um, 400 euros is reasonable for the entire job. I've met people like this before. And quite frankly, it's, it's, it's embarrassing. You, you, don't, you don't want to have to explain to them that, you know, you do need money to live on. Um, that they seem to think that you don't need money, but they do. Um, no, it doesn't work like that. I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry, but it doesn't work like that. We need income as well. So that is what that is. That's my justification for doing it like this. Let me just go back to. There we go. Right. Oops. Okay. I <laughs> actually took them. Um, took them apart the wrong way around. There. Yeah? Let's go back into this one. There we go. We can climb, scramble up here. I need to scramble up onto the next layer. Go all the way up to the top. There we go. And we can just repair this one. So we've done the very end of this barn. So there's 400 euros being paid for this. And ideally, we, you know, that, that would have been about two weeks' work. So, you know, with all the, the brick work that we had to do as well, that's, that's the time-consuming bits, doing those. Um, so, yeah, if, if we said two weeks, 1,500, roughly, we want to do this job for... We, we basically need to come back and get four installments from her because um, that's, you know, 400 a time. A little bit of a bonus for doing it well. I reckon that's not out of the way to say 1,600 euros for the job. Something for you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. We now have uh, 400, 800, so we got 26,600, and we got 60,000 social points. Nicely done. So now we're going to head into town, and there is a delivery quest to do. 
somewhere in town that we want to get. We'll just spin out round this way and head on up. There's also a plowing quest, so we've got to be careful that we take the right one, because if you refuse quests too often from people, they get annoyed with you, which is a little bit of a nuisance because of the whole you're having to do the plowing quest, and I don't really want to do the plowing. Uh, somewhere around here, there should be a quest for some plowing. I think they're over by the river. Oh, there we go. Right, it's two of them side by side, and I got no way of knowing which one is which. Because when you look at the quest on the map, it doesn't actually tell you. Right, uh... I really thought this would change by now. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but we've got quadruplets. Who are... I don't know. They're, they're looking angry about something. Right, I, I don't want to get the wrong person. Now, let's see. You look particularly angry right now. Let's zoom right in, and I'll see if I've got any idea. No, that's... There is no indication whatsoever as to how we can do this. So I'm just going to... We're going to have to do it. Hi. Hi. Well, hello there. Do you have the plow quest or the delivery quest? Uh, is there something I can help you with? Is there something I can help you with? Please There's don't be the plowing. Nearby that no! Needs plowing. Will you do it? No, I won't. 2,429 euros. How big is that field? Thanks, but not now. Maybe later. Is she going to respond? Nope, she's just going to stand there and look annoyed with me. Right, so it's you over here, Charlotte. You're the one that I want to speak to. Hi. Hi. Same Good quest. Morning. Why are you all wearing identical clothes? That just makes it difficult, doesn't it? Uh, is there something I can help you with? Is there something I can help you with? My friend has the package. There is something I need indeed. Care to bring the package to Care me? To My friend has it. Care to bring the package to me? My friend has it now. Yeah, so this is the, the whole package delivery thing. 300 euros Sounds for this good. one. I'll take care of this. Now, the question is, how far away is the package? It's probably... We, there's probably only one place where the package can be. We know where the package is going to be. There we go. The package is always down there. That's the dealer down there. So we're going to go to... We need a bus stop. Where's the nearest... Well, the bus stop's not actually that far away. So we can leave the truck where it is. We'll run over to the bus stop. And then we can go from there down to where the package is. And everything will be all tickety-boo. And we go over here to the bus shelter. And, you know, I suppose we should be grateful because that one down there, it's not that far away from the pickup point for all the packages. Ooh, let's turn around and go the right way. 400 meters away. There's always 400 meters. We may also be able to find the odd mushroom or strawberry along the way as well. There we go. We can collect the package again from the local dealer. I'm here for the package. As always. Sure. There it is. <laughs> We're we're old hands at this now. We we've we've done this so many times. We we're sort of a fam we're a familiar pickup for him now. And uh, we go back up here, and I want to. I, 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 uh, there we go. I got my truck. Jump out, and we run over here, and we can deliver the package to her. There we go. Here's the package you requested. What, what am I standing on? Thank you. I think I'm just, I think I'm just floating. Yes, I'm standing on the water. Uh, I'm not really sure what I was standing on there, but there we go. We're now 27,000 euros. That was 311 and 622 social points. That's not too bad. That's not a bad effort, really. So then if we go here, the other one is all the way down there. And we do actually need to drive down to that one. But, unfortunately, I've kind of run out of time for today, I think. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start driving over there. And we will do that quest at the beginning of our next episode. So I need to drive... Round, I think I need to go this way. I'm not actually quite sure. Yeah, I need to turn right and go down that road down there, don't I? Um, so we will head down this way so that we are ready to do the next quest in the next episode. But if you bring this one over here, like this, it does actually... Oh, no. I was hoping it would go airborne. It kind of did last time. This time it was a little bit disappointing. It, it definitely went better airborne. We, we had def better airborne-ness last time than we did this time. But we've done all our streaming. We've done a load of chainsaw work as well. We've done, uh, we've repaired a building. We've done one of the deliveries. We've got another delivery to do. And then we are going to actually make a start on doing a bit of um, cultivating. Even if we don't yet have enough slurry to spread on our field. I still don't think we got enough to do the slurry before we start working on um, some... Uh, 
grass planting. I want to do grass planting over there. And then we've also, once we've done the grass planting, we also need to cultivate the other field and we plant peas up there. I need to spread fertilizer on the wheat field. That is to, that we need to do as well. So we'll be doing a bit more field work in tomorrow's episode than we have done today. We haven't really done a lot. Well, we haven't actually done any, but um, yeah, we'll, the minor, minor detail. Um, is this where we need to go? Hang on. Where do I need to go? Oh no, I need to carry on around the corner. I need to come... And, and just keep going. I need to head way, way south. We've got a long way to go yet. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.